Good morning, my people. Welcome back to the Lift Capital YouTube channel where life is for the taking. It is the host himself, Ted Talk Money, has returned with another XDC Network video. Guys, I'm sure you can hear it in my voice. I am always excited to go over Zenfin, XDC, and all the new developments that we've been seeing. Guys, I appreciate you guys coming back to the channel. Look, as you know here at Lift Capital, we're going to continue to be the motivation mountain, okay? That's what that's what this is all about, to make sure you guys know that there is hope past negativity, all right? As soon as you got up, I say it all the time, as soon as you got up, you won, okay? Don't listen to any anybody around you, any negative people around you, all of that stuff. You have to get to a place to where you can just center, be at peace, and get to the bag, you know what I'm saying? So let's dive off into it. So I thought this was pretty accurate, yo. Very accurate. So you say Ethereum is the best, but it's seven times slower than the Zenfin XDC network. See, the reason, but the reason behind um, Vitalik and Satoshi, people like that, you have to have um, front runners in anything. Okay, I've I've used this analogy before. Just think of it in in computers. You have um, back in the eighties and stuff. You had old dinosaur. Like, just look at it for the young people that's seeing this. Look at it. Computers used to be like hallways, huge. Huge, okay? So I kind of almost want to compare that to Bitcoin. It is old, slow, like dinosaur and energy consumptive. But then we moved up, okay? And then you kind of have um, things that, you know, we've consolidated the uh, the technology. And now you have, you know, um, uh, your desktop, okay? I call that, you know, your, your, your dial-up. That's your Ethereum, right? We realize that we can consolidate this thing. We could even uh, build some stuff on top of it, right? And then, boom, we have the future where we are now, you know, okay? You have phones, computers, Wi-Fi, all of that stuff. You're always connected, and you're moving fast and efficiently, and, and real things are happening all the time. That's where you have XDC. That's where you have your more advanced third-generation DLTs. So that's what we talk about here, y'all. Uh, let's get into it. I like this as well. So block scan. Block scan, I'm sure you guys are familiar with them. They're now going to be announcing they will be launching their XDC wallet for the uh, Zenfin community very soon. So that is really important. That's why I wanted to put this up front for you guys that there will be a XDC wallet coming and it is commissioned coming from Block Scan as well. Uh, so this is really one of the uh, big ones that's most oops, that's most important uh, is this. So XDC trade shift launches first ever cross border e invoicing solution for China. Trade Finex intends to interoperate with trade shift uh, marketplace. So, right. So, guys, check this out. This is really interesting. So, business commerce platform Trade Shift has connected its standalone Chinese service to its global network to enable what it says is the first ever cross border electronic invoicing solution for China. Okay. All of that just gets me giddy. Business commerce platform already, okay? And then you guys are already servicing China. That's buku cash, okay? So uh, looking more into it. So founded in 2010, TradeShift offers a cloud-based platform that connects suppliers to the same solution, which handles invoicing, tax compliance, settlement, and early payments with a multi multi-bank network, multi-bank network, including HSBC, Santander, Guys, Santander, we've heard of them with XRP. We've heard of them already with XDC. Citibank, American Express, and Credit Ease. However, while trade shift services can be used globally, regulatory issues in several jurisdictions mean that it can only offer compliant e-invoicing in certain countries. Although the Chinese government has begun to push for e-invoicing, Chinese companies are often unable to access existing foreign solutions, forcing their global partners to operate a separate China alone system or rely on paper, which no one's trying to do that. With this solution, TradeShift says it can contribute to digiti digitalization, the, uh, the more than uh, 530 billion in global trade activity that passes through China each month. Okay, so they're doing 530 billion a month with the eventual aim of eliminating friction in cross-border transaction flows between the country and the rest of the world. So see, guys, that's what these technologies are doing and that's what we continue to stress. You see what I'm saying? It's borderless, cross-border, okay? It's one thing to build the metaverse and, you know, that has a lot of room to grow. That's the future. But this, at the same time, okay, where you're going to be with your VR set, you're going to want to make sure you have some shelter. Got what I'm saying? Some food, water. And that all has something to do with trade finance. 
So here's really the meat and potatoes, why I'm really showing you this. So Trade Finex, as I'm sure you guys are familiar, is the like the secret weapon, the secret sauce for the Zenfin network. Okay, Trade Finex is interoperable with a wide range of trade finance digitization platforms. Connect your organ, uh, uh, origination excuse me, platforms to a wide network of funders and get access to secondary market distribution marketplaces. So guys, as you see, you have Corda, Oracle, TradeShip, all of those networks, right? The, they're networks already, okay? So they have institutions and people that already trust them. So what they're doing is forming a conglomerate and TradeFinex is interoperable with a wide range of these platforms. So guys, you know, again, it just gets me so excited. So I looked off in the trade ship. I'm like, okay, wow, that's great. You guys were founded in two, you know, 2010. Okay, what's the deal with trade ship? So they do have a Twitter. They've been out since 2010, right? But I got to looking on their site. So okay, World Trade gets a reality check. I'm like, wow, that's nice. Uh, economists were optimistic about the speed of recovery. Now many are wondering if the engines of growth have lost steam. That's a very interesting comment. So anyway, um, I'm going to skip uh, skim through this. Uh, you guys, I'm going to leave a, a, a link for it. But check this out. 1.5 million companies are already connected to this platform. You get what I'm saying? Trade finance, it's not just your Amazon and big box labels. There's a lot of people that, that, that go into trade finance, companies. You know what I'm saying? So again, guys, this is this is really really huge. I'm gonna leave a, a link. Look, look, look at their partners, guys. Look, IBM, American Express, who else? Um, Deloitte, all of them. Yeah, Genpack. So look, those are big enough names for me. DHL is a, a partner up. So yeah, Trade Shift, guys. It's it's basically you know uh, making sure the trade finance continues to go to the digital side. So I, uh, this this article as well came to me. You know, we're we're talking more more and more about you know these partnerships and stuff, and, and I'm sure you guys have seen this. But this this article came out a couple months ago. But this is what I wanted you to. They're, they're really talking about uh, Trade Tech and Zenfin's uh, uh, partnership, but how they're going to be um, digitizing trade finance assets, tokenizing them, and making them into NFTs. So the collaboration between Zenfin, Trade Tech, and Accelerated Payments completes the chain from investor right through to the recipient of funding with complete transparency, accountability, and liquidity. Wow. Uh, says Ian Duffy, the founder of Accelerated Payments. This important step demonstrates the ability to disaggregate the invoice discounting industry and paves the way to provide access to a much wider range of funders, beneficiaries, providing a platform that can truly scale globally. Y'all see that's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm telling you know we're we're on the computers. You know we're we're not behind the desks. We're not in these meeting rooms. You know, hearing about these deals. When we hear about it, it's at the end of it. Okay, if you're hearing a company saying something is coming soon, that means they've already completed it and they're we're, they're prepping your mind for it. Okay, so really, what I again I'm going to stress this where. Lift Capital is going to do the work for you, but you have to take it a step further. See how all of this is coming together. Mind you, XDC, the Zenfin Network, Corda, is a part of the ISO 222 ecosystem. So you're seeing more and more in how, of how these the major players, the real, the real tokens that are going to be used globally. I'm talking about 50 plus years from now, generations and generations. Those ones, we're seeing it right before our eyes come to Together. So it's a really good thing. I'll leave a link for that. I mean, look at these numbers, guys. We're talking about the estimated global trade finance gap of 1.5 trillion is projected to grow to 2.5 trillion by 2025, unless Zenfin steps on up. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, uh, this is cool too. We have uh, we have some XDC base pairs which are coming out from HitBTC, which is good to see. Of course, it is for our store X and our plug-in. But guys, that is awesome, awesome, awesome to see that we have base pairs 
Uh, also, you have Cornell University talking about the XDC consensus engine. This document introduces Zenfin's uh, DPoS 2.0, the proposed next generation decentralized consensus engine for the Zenfin XDC network. Built upon the most advanced BFT consensus protocol, this upgrade will empower the XDC network with military-grade security and performance while consuming extremely low resources and will be fully backwards compatible in terms of APIs. It will also pave the way to the future evolution of the XDC network. Okay? Wow. Okay? Wow. Um, now they, they, uh, submitted this, this was back in, back in the summer. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely going to be looking more into, uh, if this protocol actually came about, uh, the core invention is a holistic integration of accountability and forensics in blockchains. The ability to identify malicious actors with cryptography integrity directly from the blockchain records, incorporating the latest peer reviewed ac academic research with state of the art engineering designs and implementation plans. Guys, wow. I mean, Cornell's talking about it. This is the last one I'm going to leave you with. Uh, we just recently uh, uh, spoke about plugin, you know, the next chain link or the chain link network that's built on uh, XDC. But they were just, you know, giving a shout out over to Bitru, Globy, and TPT for a uh, listing plugin on their platforms. Guys, they're on centralized exchanges. Okay. I, I, I don't know. I don't know what to, what else to tell you. You know, XDC. I'm putting all of this together for you, okay? It's going to bridge a gap, all right? Bridging a gap. That that figure, that 1.5, 2.5 trillion is a conservative figure, okay? I've seen in other articles, more in-depth articles, we're talking about uh, 9 trillion plus that is locked up because of a lack of digitization, you know what I'm saying? They're on paper. These these trade finance companies are using paper still in 2021. But of course, as you think about it, juris different jurisdictions, countries, bureaucracy, all of that stuff is going to hold up all of this cash. And Zenfin and its network and XTC is the key, the key to bringing all of those networks together to where you're cutting down time, cutting down, uh, you know, uh, fees, money, and as well, everything is going to operate um, fully. So guys, really how I see it, as you step into the space, you have more people that are digging, you know, metaverse, metaverse, you know, away from the real world. Again, the, the grownups, okay, the grownups, they're putting their partnerships and agreements together. You get what I'm saying? To make sure that you kids can have some coffee in between your little VR breaks. You get what I'm saying? So you can have all those little things that you're going to need before, you know, when you hop right back into the to the metaverse. So, guys, I appreciate you making it down to this part. I appreciate you being a part of this XDC community. I appreciate that you come here and listen to Live Capital that, that you about Ted. Yo, I appreciate everything that you're doing and that you're an uh, integral uh, part to the XDC community. Guys, connect with us. Let's all connect. You get what I'm saying? Uh, uh, hit that like. Hit that subscribe. Connect with us. Look in the, some of our past videos. Uh, on this channel, We we're, again, we're about health, wealth, wisdom. We want to remind people that there is opportunity. We want to remind you that there is hope. Okay? OK, there's a lot of people that are losing hope right now. All right. And they're coming to crypto as a saving grace. OK, you have to see real opportunity in front of you and consider utility always. OK, I'll leave you guys with that. I'll holla at y'all tomorrow. Peace.